All right, to put on the lock, so no one takes off with the trailer, just turn our, put our key in, turn it all the way. You do have to push it all the way in, and then the bolt will just slide out. Now, to put it in, slide it in, and what we do, put it on, hold that collar in place, the collar so it can't be angled and we'll grind it. Now, if we have that key turned all the way down, push the barrel in, get it nice and straight. Now, if we push it once, it'll beep once, locks in place, take the key out, and that's armed. Now, you can have it on there, not armed. So that's it, warning, because I'm playing with it. So you can do it, so if we don't lock it in place and we go two beeps and then take our key out, that's locked but not armed. And then you do the reverse to get it off. So to get it off, you turn the key, the barrel comes out, careful not to drop it, and that comes off. Set the trailer up. Just pull this pin, pull this out, you put the pin back in, and then you pull it out until the pin drops. There you go, pin's in. Now, to start with, another safety pin. Pull this out, that goes as low as we can. Lock that in. Now, inside your trailer, we've got a handle. Pull this pin out, put the handle in. It is easier if you put the pin back in, but completely up to you. And then we just wind our leg. Wind our leg down. Do that to all four. Get the trailer as level as you can, um, because when the mast goes up, you'll notice that if the trailer's not level, the mast is on quite a lean. Um, now, once we've done that, we can pull that out. Do that to all four sides, if you want, but you'll probably lift the trailer up too high. Um, you can put the chocks under the wheels at any time, the safety chocks. Um, and then if we come around, come around this side of the trailer, wind up our camera to the right height. Go as high as you like, but if you don't need to go to the full nine metres, don't. And then just for security, use the same. Oh, I would take this off washer and all, and put those two things in the trailer just to prevent theft. And then when you want to bring it down, same thing. You can put it on finger tight if you want. If you want to be nice and safe, use that, nice and tight. And you just wind it, wind it back down. Down she comes. All right, to pull our panels out, we just loosen this clip and have it sitting on this on this plate. Press down our blue handle and pull our panels out. Now, once this panel starts getting towards the end, it should come very smooth and easy. Make sure these cables are not stopping it. Push that, push that in, and that, that'll lock in place. Like that. And that's nice and safe. Now, when we're ready to pack up, we just do, do that in reverse, unclip that, push our blue handle down. Now this should slide in very smoothly. No need to force it. Put that back on. Now, one, if you want to get it ready for transport, make sure it clicks in. Make sure that that's clicked and that's clicked in and that's safe. All right, these are our motion sensors. So there's just a little wing nut on the side, just slightly loosen it. Move it up, tighten it. Now, depending on how far you wanted to go and what you wanted to protect, will depend on that angle. It's got a, it's got a red light on it, so you can walk test and make sure it's covering what you want it to cover. Now we just want to power the trailer up, so we turn on solar, battery, and load. We just check that everything powers up. We'll be able to see what the panels are putting in, what the batteries have got, and what that load is.
once we've applied power to the trailer, we can just check a few things and make sure they're working. So underneath the monitor, there's a little power switch. Make sure you turn that off when you're not using it because it's just gonna drain battery unnecessarily. Now this key should be in the locked position, which is horizontal. If it's vertical, you're not gonna have green lights. There should be a row of green lights down here. Not all of them are illuminated. On our modem, which is this device here, there's green lights on that as well. So just a general check, make sure the lights are on. We can see what position the cameras are in. Give us a call. We can uh, put them in position for you remotely. Uh, there is a feature that uh, we can put in a password and uh, actually put them in, in you, you can put them into position.